you know, what kind of investment would you uh, recommend people attempt to set up for themselves on a regular basis for, for advertising and, and for these other things? It's tough. That's one thing that I've had. I've had to definitely refocus my way of thinking in the last couple of years or even just in the last fucking three, six, three months. Um, your, your artist project is a business. And if you're thinking that you can get a profitable business without spending any money on it, probably not. <laughs> Yeah. Probably not. Like maybe if you are making such good music that you're getting assigned to like an Ausla or a monster cat or something like that, it's going to break you. Yeah. Fantastic. But if you're not getting signed to a big label with a huge reach and you got to start getting your stuff out there and you got to make content for yourself, that's going to be captivating. There's only so much you can do yourself and you should be thinking about your disposable income and how can I invest this in my artist project. If you really want this to fucking happen, you have to think about how can I make a bunch of money to spend and get back to zero to make a bunch more money to spend on my artist project. If you're like, I can only spend 20 bucks on my artist project. That's it. You ain't going to get anywhere. You have to really, you have to really believe in yourself enough to spend your last dollar on your own project. Is this I'm hypothetical true. person you're talking about a slack jawed yokel? That was good. <laughs> he might be. One dollars. He might be. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's just the way that I used to think about it. That that was honestly that was a previous me in my own. Head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, only got twenty dollars cool. spending on my <laughs> project. That was my own Neanderthal self. Yeah, yeah, look at that you. was enough. Look at you guys yeah. killing it. Investing in yourself is so important. And so, you know, obviously a lot of what we've been talking about has been, you know, kind of structures that you've invested in to educate yourself, uh, advertisements that you've educated yourself on how to do and then actually spending the money to run them. Uh, what, you know, what for somebody starting out, I mean, aside from we've already covered, like, get some training on entrepreneur or something like that. You know, what, you know, what kind of investment would you uh, recommend people attempt to set up for themselves on a regular basis for, for advertising and, and for these other things? So I want to I want to tread carefully here because, like, I am extremely sensitive to the fact that so like. We're in a very, very weird time right now. And without getting too deep into it, I don't want to look at people and be like, you just got to get a job and spend money. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like that's, 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 yeah. I, you might not have that option right now. Yeah. Um, and, and even before this, uh, you might not have lived in a place where you could really get a great job and, and, and spend a lot. Um, and that's why I think it is about like controlling the things that you can control and what you can control immediately is how hard you work, uh, and, and study in terms of making sure your music is, uh, really fucking good. Uh, and I'm just going to keep on saying that again and again. Um, simultaneously, the budget that you need to actually get your stuff out there, um, and start making fans I mean, do you have five bucks a day? Honestly, like, do you have $5 a day? We're talking one big latte per day. Yeah. Do you have five bucks a one day? One beer at a I, bar. You know? Um, and, if you, and if you really don't have five bucks a day, then, like, honestly, you're, you're probably in a position right now where you need to make music because you love making music. And, and if you're fucking good enough at it, and, and you push hard enough and you write 700 emails a day and that thing gets in somebody's inbox and they hear it and you're persistent with it. Like that is also a route that is also a route that works. There's there, there absolutely. Uh, if you know, but five bucks a day is, is, is a very, very, very acceptable starting budget, especially for like the fan finder method that gets preached, which is just like, do a really low key video. Essentially the method is just do, do like a low key video of you, like doing a song, like, like just playing your guitar and doing a song. 
and, uh, and, and run $5 a day on it and target people who like, who, who, you know, a similar artist, a post Malone or whatever. And, uh, and, and just start interacting with the people that interact with your shit. Um, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's really simple. That's, that's, yeah. you know, and, and you're building your data in the meantime, and then you can retarget with higher cost campaigns later and all that stuff. Um, and so that's, that's, that's huge. Um, one thing we did, I think exactly. Go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say exactly, exactly what you touched on is correct. I think, I think then, and the dollar amount, $5 a day, that seems to be a, that seems to be a healthy starting place to re, to get real results. But mm-hmm. my, my honest reaction to the original question is that there's no right answer because yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. just, there's just no way to predict for your situation, what you can spend. What I am going to say is that figure out, like you mentioned, it's a, it's a $5 latte a day that instead of buying the coffee, you make coffee at your house and you spend that on Facebook ads, right? Like figure out whatever it is in your life on a consistent basis that you're willing to instead put into savings or instead put into just a purely Facebook marketing or just advertising or just general, like, even if you're like, fuck it, I don't, I don't even like Facebook advertising, but I really rock with this idea of Sam working with a really cool director and cinematographer. And I want to, I want to save up 500 bucks and find the best bang for my buck that I can make a super fucking cool video and then use my own guerrilla marketing to get it to people. Yeah. Like whatever it is, whatever you can, whatever you can decide to save regularly to put into your, pocket to spend on your artist project, do it and like figure what that is for you. But the overall, whatever you're spending it on, just think of the investment that you're making in your artist project as, as, as really an investment in your future rather than just, I don't know. It, it, It took a shift of, of thinking of it like a business rather than like thinking that that money was not gonna come back at some point like it does right if yeah. you if you do believe in doing this long term so figure out whatever it is that you can save on a consistent basis and then spend it on your artist project that's really the answer amen, amen. <laughs> jinx and you know like you said uh sam some folks are not currently in a position to spend a lot of money but there's usually this balance beam in our life where either we've got a little bit of extra money or we've got a little yeah. bit of extra time yeah. And if you don't have one, heavily invest the other. If yes. you can be, you know, yes. commenting back to everybody that comments on you and, you know, making sure you hit every message and finding people who are commenting on other people's posts and starting genuine, actual conversations to the point where you want to friend each other online to the point where, you, hey, do you mind if I send you my new track? I would, yeah. I would like yeah. to see if you dig it. And if you could give me any pointers, you know, like exactly. people like to give their opinions on things, but they don't like to be spammed. So exactly. taking the time the relationship yeah. to start the real relationship of, hey, you're a person, I'm a person, this is social media, we're being social. And then eventually asking them if it's okay if they listen to your music. Yeah. Then the other way is that fan, fan finder method where you give them an advertisement that you paid for to show up where they already are in their feed, in their stories, whatever. And you give them something that feels organic to the platform, like a quick video of you jamming and singing your own song or something really authentic that doesn't feel like this big produced product. That's an ad being pushed down their throat. Something that be like, Oh, this is cool. I'm going to hit the like button. And then retargeting the people that liked and interacted with that with your next ad that pulls them deeper into that funnel to the point where you can get them to click that link. I like it. What's up, humans? It's Luke, your friendly neighborhood trap Jesus. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We appreciate you. Remember to like and subscribe to our channels. And if you have any questions or topics that we need to cover on the show, put them in the comments. Appreciate you. Peace and peace among worlds.